This bout is eight rounds of boxing in the bantamweight division. Our three judges at ringside are David Mendoza, Ray Corona, and Max DeLuca. When the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Tony Krebs. Introducing first the fighter standing in the blue corner. Wearing blue and red trunks, this man weighed in at 120 pounds. He holds a professional record of 13 wins, including 11 wins by knockout, with four losses and one draw. From Valley du Parc, Colombia, Felix El Cosito Flores. <laughs> and now introducing his opponent standing in the red corner. Wearing black trunks, this man weighed in at 117 pounds. He holds a perfect professional record of 14 wins, including 11 wins by knockout with no losses. From Cebu City, Philippines, Ray Boom Boom Bautista. Box. Eight rounds of bantamweight action right here from Staples Center. Ray Boom Boom Bautista. He is in the black trunks, taking on Felix Flores from Colombia. And they tell me that every promoter there is is trying to sign Boom Boom. We'll find out about him a little bit tonight. Rich Murata, along with Mario Lopez tonight, having some fun here at L.A. And um, we're going to watch Boom Boom, see what he can do there. Well, one thing about him, Ray is very busy, for, uh, and uh, he is very big for a bantamweight. So that size works to his advantage, no question about it. Both these guys are heavy-handed, but Batista is a guy, as Freddie Roach, his trainer, told me, he tries to knock you out with every punch. He's looking for it. And you know, Rich, I got to tell you, he's one of the few Filipino fighters who is not a southpaw. It seems like all the fighters <laughs> coming true. out of Philippines are southpaws. He's just 19 years old. Flores, he's in there with us, 31 years old. A record of 13-4 and one with 11 knockouts. So Flores barely has some power of his own. Uh, 11 of the 14 wins for Bautista have been by knockout. And it's going to be a busy night for Freddie Roach, to say the least, Staples Center. <laughs> yes, he is. He's got, this is the first of four consecutive fights that he has with fighters. I don't even think Freddie's going to go back to the locker room between fights, which is, of course, something, it sounds kind of funny, but it, actually it's, it's something that he likes to do, of course, be with his fighter before the fight in the locker room. Of course. And in those last few moments, walk out with his fighter, but uh, I don't know if he's even going to be able to do that tonight. And it seems a bit surreal for me because, as you guys know, I train at Freddie Roach's Wild Card Gym. It's all my stable mates, so trying to remain not biased, of course, <laughs> will be uh, difficult. Well, at least you know a lot about these guys. You see them in there all the time. And uh, this is a bit of very cautious first round from Bautista. Making sure he doesn't do anything foolish. Actually, yeah, it's been Flores who's been trying to get off first. Bautista being the aggressor, though, but like um, Rich mentioned earlier, bad intentions with every punch. Nice stiff jab. That was a nice left hand it got in. And that right hand was quick and effective. Flores... Seems to feel the punches of uh, Batista. That last one, he backed away very quickly. He's uh, fluid in there, uh, Batista. Looks like he's a good athlete. Gets around the ring pretty well. Looks like good defense, too. Scheduled for eight. Your referee is Tony Krebs. You know, Freddie, for being such a relaxed guy in the corner and such a calming voice, runs a really intense camp in the gym and doesn't believe in going outside the camps. Likes to stay at home there in Hollywood. Final seconds of round one. Fairly cautious first round between the two. And we have the red light feature in the corners tonight, guys, for the final ten seconds of the round. If Folks, see those red lights come on, then you know. We're down to the final 10 seconds. There's Freddie. No busques la mano derecha de él. Trabaja el pie por fuera para que pueda trabajar la izquierda y te vayamos siempre con 3 y 4 manos. Esa, esa mano adelante está entrando mucho ahí, perfecto. No te tires para la mano derecha. Siempre a distancia tú primero. Tú primero. Trabaja los golpes por dentro. Y la costa trabaja, busca la guijá y busca aquí. Don't go to busca his right. Tres manos. 
pa, 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 boom, pa. Y después dice, come. ¿Está bien? Three shots and then come, come across. Food That's right. right. He wants combinations, not just to peck at him with one or two punches. Oops. Round two, scheduled for eight from the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Ray Bautista, an up-and-comer, undefeated fighter from the Philippines who trains here in Los Angeles at the Wild Card Gym in the black trunks, taking on the Colombian Felix Flores. And Ray hoping to become the next uh, Manny Pacquiao idol in the Philippines, and now he's beginning to open up here in the second round. Took it easy in that first round, and let's see if Flores actually trying to fight him. Whereas he was more intent on boxing in the first round, Flores uh, <laughs> decided when Ray opened up, I am too. And now <laughs> Ray's sticking his chin out at him, saying, come on, hit me. Although Batista's from the Philippines, he's from a different area, from Cebu City. And uh, did not have the tough, tough background in terms of growing up that uh, Manny Pacquiao had. You know, not too many people had, especially uh, being from Mindanao and the uh, Muslim influence and him being Catholic. It's such a, it'd be a great movie, to say the truth. <laughs> Speaking of movies, Manny is quite a uh, movie icon over there now, and he's a movie, matinee idol as well. That's right. Got yeah, a new movie coming out. <laughs> he made sure that he plugged it at his press conference. press conference. Go see the movie. <laughs> he's the Sylvester Stallone of the Philippines. <laughs> Usually fighters are telling you to come and see their fight. He tells you to go see their movie. <laughs> Round two scheduled for eight here. These are Bantamweights. And the favorite in this fight... Ray Bautista beginning to open up, work the body a little bit now. Good idea. Try to slow down Felix a little bit. Try to take those legs away from him if he can, because we mentioned Flores gets around that ring pretty well, and he uses his legs in there. That was a nice left hook by Flores. You know, both these guys are built like rocks and probably and probably can go all night at this pace, so I'm surprised that Bautista is fighting such a disciplined fight. And Flores is proving to be a competitive opponent for him here this evening. No Patsy put in the ring with Bautista tonight. He's a yeah. fine counterpuncher. Good counterpuncher. I noticed that in the first round also, like uh, Mario was talking about. He's in great shape. And now he's working left-handed. Unless I missed it. He started right-handed, didn't he? <laughs> I don't know. I yes. I, I didn't remember him being a southpaw. <laughs> <laughs> first time seeing this guy. But uh, cutting off the ring is Bautista. He got hit there. A little right hand snuck in. This is starting to heat up pretty good. The good counter punching, as you mentioned, Rich. Uh oh. Now we're getting. Now it's getting down to that level. Here we go. Batista digging in. Although uh, Flores has a fine knockout record, 11 knockouts in his 13 wins, he does not, as we just see the two of them in there, appear as heavy handed as Batista is. Each man carries 11 KOs in that's a nice Good left. Oh, he's, he's wobbly. wobbly. Seemed like that one caught him on the side of the head. Yeah, Flores is in trouble. He's Let's gonna get the bell though and bail him out. Yep. Hey! There it is. Ooh, that's a sneaky lead. He must have some heavy hands, Bautista. And you know, both those guys' defense, they're holding their hands up high, but Bautista seems to now be able to counter with his left hook behind the ear. See what we can hear, or hear what we can see. Hey, hey, that's Bautista. <laughs> Just tell him nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened, right? Well, let's right, see let's what happened. Look, let's take a look at it, and you're going to see that's the left hook. It hit him on the side of the head, but as you can see, it took his legs away immediately. Freddie Roach now in the corner with Batista. Ah! <laughs> well, that was an interesting conversation. Yes, it was. <laughs> you know, by the end of the night, Freddie Roach should be fluent in Tagalog. <laughs> yeah, Tagalog. <laughs> Hang on, hang of course, on, the on. native language of the Philippines. <laughs> Round three scheduled for eight. Ray Bautista in the black trunks. An up-and-coming star, they tell us, from the Philippines. Trains here in Los Angeles. Taking on Felix Flores out of Colombia. Felix has proved to be a pretty worthy opponent the first two rounds, but did get tagged with a left hand toward the end. The left hook, in fact, toward the end of the second round. Good little counter puncher from Colombia, but I think now he's going to be even more cautious after getting caught like that. He's not throwing the jab with authority as much. I think he's still a little woozy and hasn't right. fully recovered, to tell you the truth. He's back to the southpaw stance. Batista's quite a sportsman-like uh, fighter. 
Notice what Flores bent down real low there. He could have taken a shot at him, and he just kind of stood back and, and waited till uh, he stood up again. Ray may need to get a little meaner in there. <laughs> no, of course, he can let his hands be plenty mean for him. Oh, and a beautiful, beautiful shot right on the button. And it looked like Flores actually walked into that punch. And he is out of there. That is it. That's it. That's it. Oh, referee holding him up now. Ace, really, that's a hard punch, guys. That was a hard, beautiful counter right hand. Batista, I'm very impressed with Batista Nice. Very disciplined fighter. Obviously comes heavy-handed. And had a game plan and stuck with it. Look at that look on his face. What happened? That's exactly what he's thinking right now. What happened? And there is Ray Bautista. Very impressive in terms of his power. He was patient in there tonight. And which I really appreciate in terms of his inexperience and youth as a fighter, yet he was very patient, waited for the openings, and when he got it, he fired it. This man, Felix Flores, walked right into the right hand. It was a tremendous shot, and Bautista adds to the galaxy of Freddie Roach stars. That's true. Freddie Roach the hottest trainer on the planet right now. And Tony Krebs went down in the heat with the fighter. Let's take a look at it, guys. Look at that young face. All right, we'll take a look at the replay. You're going to want to watch the right hand of Bautista. Felix Flores Ooh. comes straight forward and walks into the punch. <laughs> he got full leverage, beautiful right hand, sat on his heels, bam, Right textbook. in the middle of the face, actually. Then he tried to get up and walk. Tony Krebs followed him, oh, held was... him in his arms, making sure he was okay and not falling out of the ring. There's the... Uh, now, I can, now I get it. Now this is why everybody, every promoter in the world is trying to sign this guy. Let's head up to Bruce Buffer now for the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Krebs has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 12 seconds of round number three. For the winner by knockout, Ray Boo Boo and Freddie Roach is 1-0 and oh so far. <laughs> <laughs> and more important, Ray Bautista is 15-0. and oh, And he is looking good as he is starting to climb that ladder rather rapidly. He, remember, he's just 19 years old, too. So they could be very patient with him. Don't want to put him in against more than he can handle. But right now, he can, seems to be on his way.